this is the uh, the set I've got with those uh, clocks, of course. It's got everything in it. Got the four uh, hoses, clamps, additional uh, additional O-rings, and all these adapters to uh, put into these holes, which are on the Suzuki uh, over here. You can see the screw. And just take that out. And make sure the O-ring is behind there. Just going to turn that in there. We can hook up the hose here and then bring it to the uh, to the gauges. Using this nipple to uh, widen the uh, the tube because it's really tight now. I'm also going to put this one back for the testing so I can see what RPMs we're doing. cold so it should be doing this with a warm engine but first see if we can get it running again without shooting over uh, let's see is this clear choke is on fuel is open I've got power so let's go
So I'm thinking something wrong with this valve timing. Maybe the other one's well, but this side's worse. So, yeah. Well, the engine has been running, and I'm not really getting the results I was hoping for, but um, it may be something to do with the valves sticking. I don't know. It could be the carb. There's a problem with it. Um, what it basically does is it's hard to get it to run in idle, but once it does, uh, this thing's not showing the right numbers. So I think it should be in the green when it's idling. And it's not, it's just, I'm getting it around, what's about 10 vacuum. So that's over here in the, just past the red part. Um, and as soon as I open the throttle, like boom, boom, like that, it takes it quite a long time to pick it up. So it's like it's sticking or it's drowning. And I can hear the um, exhausts uh, exploding all the time. So it could be the timing problem. Uh, I've done the ignition plate. I've kind of twisted it. It did improve it. Um, but I think I've got to look at the valves because probably the timing isn't correct for some reason or it's changed or whatever so I'll have to check that again and the best part to do best way to do that is with the tank off uh, so I think I'm gonna get one of those auxiliary tank thingies so that is a problem it could be a number of other things as well bad uh, valve springs although I don't think that is really the case I think it's probably the timing and of course I've got these uh, open air filters so maybe it's just not getting enough juice when I open it but the main problem is as soon as it gets warm it starts picking up RPMs and it just stays there so I think there's multiple problems probably it's it's got to do with the air filters the open air filters maybe there's something wrong in the carb some dirt uh, valve timing could be off and I think that that is it basically so it's one of those things and the engine is really hot now so I can't do anything right now but um, well these things work I've got that going and I've got this to check it out so well that's it I'm uh, just gonna work with it and uh, see if we can get this thing uh, running properly at least it starts the battery's doing um, which is nice especially for me so yeah that is it for this video cheers I'll see you in the next one hopefully with a solution